Alrighty, welcome back. We're going to do a video. We're going to put this radiator on, and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do it. I've got a little bit of a plan, a little bit of a plan. Just cleaning off some clips that were on the far, or on the, on the front cross member here. Just cleaning off the clip, cleaning them some off. Get it cleaned up a little bit. What I have is the radiator. I have the, I just want to get this off. I just want to get that off. Come, come, come off. I guess it doesn't matter, but. I just wanted to clean that off. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Let me get it off. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try to I'm going to put the radiator on to the engine or onto the fan. I'm going to gap it with with uh, some pieces of bad Chad flexible chrome. What I've done is I cut four pieces of this chrome. It's just it's just chrome, like it, but it's got some 3M tape on it. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on each one of the fan. I'm going to put that straight up and down so we can get that and then we'll put one on either side. Just want to pull this off. Bear with me. Bear with me. There we go. Where'd that go now? See where that went? Thinking, throwing things around. Anyways, that's what I got going on. Thought I might clear that off because there, there's going to have to be some kind of bracket welded there to hold the radiator. So this is what I got going on. If you want to go come over and take a look, we've had the, the fan shroud. We made that yesterday. We made that yesterday. Me and Jolene put a bead in it. Yes, we did. We put a bead in it because we thought that the, the fan would maybe have a little more room if we put a bead in it. So now I want to mount it. Um, what I have is, this is what I have. I have, you can see the there's two bolts on either side of it. There's one bolt on there, another bolt there. And on the bottom, it has two more mounting bolts, and I think I'm gonna go with that. I've chosen some square stock. I'm gonna run some, not square stock, angle, angle iron, excuse my licorice, angle iron. We'll drill a hole, we'll get a hole done, we'll get it cut. We'll put one on each side. I've run the bolts through a couple times. Now it's just a matter of doing it. So let's see if we can get it done. Let's see if we can get it done. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to mount it on there. Like, basically, I'm going to put it where I think it needs to be fit. And uh, we'll go from there. And that's, that's the way you would do anything, I would think. That you would mount it. Hold it where it's mounted or where you need it. That's what we did with the steering column. We put it where we needed it. And then we weld it to it. And basically, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to use these for, for clearance. For clearance. Not sure what that would be, but it seems like it would be enough. Oh, come on now. I want that to stay on there. It's not even sticky at all. Why is that not sticky? Must be the end piece. I'm going to have to throw a piece of tape on them, I guess. What do you mean? I know they got... That's what I'll do. That one's sticky. Throw that one on the bottom. That one's not sticky. Throw it on the top. I'm going to get some tape. Well, that's too bad. That won't stay there. Stay there. Get some tape. I guess the main thing is to make it stay there so it does not come off. I guess we get a true read. True read is what we need. Jolene looks amazing today. She always looks amazing. She's the apple of my eye, boy. She's the apple of my eye. She's the apple of my eye. I don't know why they would say the apple, but that's what the saints always used to say that I know of, the apple of my eye. 
Now me and Jolene, or I'm thinking, where we put the bead in. You can go on Facebook and watch that. Jolene, me and did that. She put that on Facebook, just a small, short, short film work. And uh, she put that on there, so show that we're working. I'm gonna put that one on again. Alrighty, that's gonna give us a little distance on the fan. Let's grab the fan. No, actually, we're gonna make a couple pieces here. First, gotta do this, make a couple of these things here. I'm going to, to get a marker, get a marker in my pocket. We've got a little, a little bit of crown going on there, trying to run the, run the bolts in and out so they run in good this time. They might, they might not. I'm gonna do this. Cut that off. Glasses on. Might as well put some gloves on. I don't know as if they'd stop a zip cut. I'm gonna to have to get a zip cut to get rocking and rolling. I hate when I have my glasses on and I go like this. Don't like that. Don't like that. So we're gonna cut that off. We got short spaces, and Jolene's doing a fantastic job because it's hard to film in such a short little space. Uh, it surely is. I know that because I've I've done it before, and you can't watch what you're doing while you're filming. Generally, it's hard. Got to plug that in. It's hard to run a run a grinder without power too. Let's let's get this radiator on here. Kind of makes me yeah gets me excited to hear it run again. Do it one more time. Same length. That's a good thing. The faster you can do that, you know, if you're if you're building something, um, if you if you know, instead of getting that measuring tape out and, and going, watch your sweetheart and you're backing up. Instead of getting that measuring tape out, if you could just eye it up, cut it off, grab the other one, cut it off, you'll you'll gain a little time, you will. And it's like anything, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Just try and take any sharp stuff off so nothing has to happen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the do the guessing game again. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the guessing game again. And what I'm gonna guess is I guess, but Draw my own holes on. If I want to come in further, I do so. Slide that up. I'm just going to come in a little further. We're in the center. Oh, fina. We'll do the other side. Goodness. 
you know, instead of doing something major and like getting the measuring tape out and all that sort of stuff, I like to do that part. Try to get it done as quick as possible. You know, if someone asked you to, you know, make two make two, two pieces of angle iron and, and drill four holes. Would you first think first would you like think to do a bunch of measuring and put it on? Or do you go to tracing it? and cutting it out with a plasma cutter or you go to measuring it and putting it in a drill press and finding a, something to hold it down and then going for the going for the drill press while you hold it and it won't, 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 won't. or do you you know do you do it this way and that's entirely up to you yes it is yes it is but I can say one thing for sure there's a time difference there's a time difference yes there is and also, um, this way here, you can go backwards very quickly. <laughs> you can go backwards very quickly. If you do not punch out the right hole or make it too big with a plasma cutter, you can go backwards. Yes, you can. But that's, that's where the practice comes in. You, you either go for it or you know, stay in the back of the line. I like to have it a little tighter. Die grinder to that if it's not big enough. hot should not be too hot take it over here to chip off some slag it's a nice slag hammer that is that's a nice slag hammer all right what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that turn off the plasma cutter We'll go with the air. I got the die grinder right there. Let's die grind them up a little bit. Every little, every like every day that we get closer and closer and closer to be able to let Jolene start it up, push, you know, drive it out the door is going to be cool. Not a bad looking hole for, you know, not a bad looking hole. I hope we're close. That way there we can just put them on and go. That would be nice. That's the name of the game. That's what I was talking about. If it's quicker or slower. Yeah, this will tell, soon tell us, you know, that, that's a little bit hot, but rock and roll with that one. You get lucky on the first one. You know what they say, you got to be good to be lucky. So I've been told. Second one. Ouch. It's hot. Just one second, baby. You're hot, baby. Oh, ouch, you're hot. Ha. 
that now, would you? That was a well done, wasn't it? Huh? Well done. Alrighty, get a ratchet, put them on. Yes. Start of it. In a hurry. All right, there's two brackets. What I'm thinking is I have them bolted on there like that. I'll be able to run some square tubing off the front cross member to hit that somewhere. If I can get the fan on there and get it fitting right like I want to. Let's see, let's check it out. I'm gonna get it on there. I don't wanna knock any of the pieces off. Uh, am I even gonna get that on there like that? Ugh. Ugh. Huh, alrighty. I don't like that anyway. There we go. Man, we're tight. There we go. Now we're fitting. Where I want it. One on the bottom. One on that side. One on that side. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to take a look at it. Oh, that one's off. Is it not? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know where, kind of where I'm at right now at the present moment. Oops. Clothes back on. Things aren't going so good right at the present moment. We're too, really too tight. And it's not giving me. A... All right. Let's continue on. All right. I'm going to leave it like that for a second. Come down to the front here. Basically, to me, that looks. It doesn't make that look center though, but that's okay. It doesn't make it look center. It's not hitting down there. Well, it's, I have to pull that out some. It's hitting down there when I weld it on. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna weld a couple sticks of weld on there and try to plan it in place while I weld it. And see how I get them in there? Some of them are bent and off, not on there very well. Let's make sure we pull it out where we're going before we weld it on. See, we got this one here is probably centered all right. It's a rough go, isn't it? It's tight. That's too bad where that's that bracket that seems not to be. Rather do it like that, probably. I 
think what I'd like to do is we'll weld it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld that there on that side of that. We'll weld that down there and we'll cut that off <laughs> when it's time. I guess that line looks okay. It looks fine to me. Too far. Just trying to eye it up, see what looks the best. We've got a couple bolts here that we can put a rod maybe back here somewhere, back here to there, or something like that to hold it on. Just checking it out, just checking it out. I don't think we're on the top there. All right, I'm just going to clean a couple places off on there. And I'm probably going to go for it, try to nail it on there without that falling off. That's basically it. Try to put it on there without it falling off. The paint is so thin on this chassis. You just got some red oxide on it and some black paint, and there's no rust underneath that whatsoever. It's close. Weird. The reason I am using, the reason I am using, I guess, this, the front, I can wall the whole length of the, the square tubing instead of setting it on top and going somewhere. Once I have it on the length, I can wall the whole length. It's pretty hard for that to rip off. If I, if I put it on a perch and put it, stand it on here and go up, it wouldn't look that good, I don't think. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to perch it where it looks the best. And that's, isn't there a song like that? Huh? All right, I'm going to turn the, turn the welder on. Let's bring that welder over. So I still might have to do some adjustment once, once I get going here, once I get it on there, because the top, the top one doesn't look like it's doing that great. But let's, 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 let's figure it out now. Here, once I bracket that up and put some mounts on that, um, I should be able to shim, shim it up by the bottom of the radiator. If I need any shim, I should be able to shim it there. Underneath here, I should be able to shim it up. I would never be able to shim it down, but right now we're on the top. It's kind of whatever. On side to side, we should be able to, you know, hone the holes out a little bit so we can get a little bit of movement there. That's basically what I'm trying to say. It's not over yet, that's for sure. Like it's got, it's got uh, quite a bit of figuring out yet to do. But you got to start somewhere. And basically I'm starting with the radiator sitting on there with a few pieces of chrome. I have to pull it out because it's hitting the bottom of the Pull that out a little bit. So, let's do this here. Let's, um, actually, I want to cut it off the length before I put it in there. And the reason I want to cut it off the length because I might have the problem getting the zip cut in there to cut it off after I weld it on there. I might have a problem. Come on. I'm going to guess, because I can. Please go around the air cord, please. No, it's not going to. I should have known better. It's free. Free like the bird, man. Alrighty. 
got it setting. I just got it setting there. What's got to happen is, is I'm going to put that there so it can hold it up no matter what. And eye it up. Put in the center of those two bolts. I'm going to tack the outside because then I can cut it off if I have to. Hope that makes sense. I can cut, you know, in a firm firm say. Nope, that wasn't what I was supposed to do, was it? That wasn't what I was supposed to do at all. The reason I wasn't supposed to do that is because the radiator, radiator has to be pulled out. What I mean by that is, the radiator has to be pulled. We're hitting down at the bottom. Pull that out. Yes, I do. Now that's hitting now. It's going to take a little bit of messing around. Yes, it is. Another grill shell going on me. I need a hammer. I think what I want to do is I'm going to poke this one underneath because so it don't fall. So it don't fall. If I want to do that. Hmm. Ah. I'll cut this one off. Get off. What's going on here is I have this bracket coming down here. I've got a nice little gap going. It's a gap. But on this side, when I do it, I've got a little different gap going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the square stock. I'm going to cut a little bit out of it so it moves over so it looks like it fits right. my bracket on just for my, from from the eye sake it looks like it's the same you know when you look at it it's close close enough a little closer could be a little bit better but I don't really want to change let's just do this put it on there I can always snip it back off. Yeah, I just I snipped that one back off, so I can always snip it back off. Just want to get it underneath there, so it's holding the the radiator, so the radiator don't fall. Ah. This one I I want it out. to push that in. Now, this 
can come out some now. Ah, nice. Now if it slides right now, I can slide it out. Let's get my thing, sweetheart. I pushed so hard on that, I think I'm going to bruise my own, bruise myself. What has, you going to check my mic? She wants to touch me, boy. She wants to touch me. And I love it. All right, I'm just going to move this for a second. I've got something holding it in the air. Yes, I do. I have more adjustment. Uh, I have adjustment because I can undo the bolts on the square stock or the angle iron underneath the radiator. We just got a setting on. Setting on. There's a space I want. There we go. So. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I've got it up off now. I'm hoping that I could get that piece back. And I can. There it is right there. It's on. It's on. It's on. I'm going to pull it out. That one there is in the... It's nice. That one there is nice. Pull it out a little bit. Hit center on the... And down there like that, and nail it. So and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in between that. Uh, don't know if that'll hold that or not. Let's try this. I'm just trying to get that center of that fan and that bead center of that fan and that bead. that's sort of what we got going on that's what we got going on now yeah, I'm gonna weld that on hard to believe hard to believe Well, I gotta cut both of them off, and I'll tell you why. Because they're down too low. Both of them are. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Damn it. Alrighty, no time like the present. Gotta cut, gotta snip them off. I'm a quarter inch shy. Once I pull that out and set that on top of that, we're on top of that. We are. I'm pretty sure we are. Are we not? Probably not. But that's where that's where our adjustment will help us. There. shy now yeah it'd be rather be too shy and too long let's do the helmet thing again all I can do is pray and hope for the best that's all basically all I can do I'm gonna tack it on pray and hope for the best it looks like it's on there right it looks like it's where it's supposed to be I can shim it up or around I can move it around a little bit yes I can after I get this mount on
what I'm trying here. Got it up to the top there now. Looks good. I'm gonna nail it. Got a nail up here too. Let's do the other side. So see here. I'm gonna, knock, I'm gonna knock this off, believe it or not. Hello. Alrighty. Stop it. I just want to put it in the center of the, ouch. How to do that now. I want to put it in the center. I just want to put it in the center of the two bolts so I can. here. I'm going to tack it on the other side just because this all can be unbolted from the radiator can be unbolted from this. The bracket that's on the frame will be here because it holds the radiator. And I'm just thinking for welding it up purposes, actually. I guess the test of it is we've got it, we got it tacked on. I've got it, I think, in place. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip the tape off that fan. Give that fan a turn. It shouldn't go anywhere. It's just kind of tacked on there. It shouldn't go anywhere. So I'm just going to take this piece of sandpaper out. Maybe just checking my sand. Okay, we're, we're clear of that. Now, if we're hitting at the, if we're hitting anywhere, it's just a matter of adjustment. And what I mean by adjustment, we take those bolts out. We would put out like a washer underneath or whatever, a rubber, we could rubber it a little bit because it might need a little rubber, I'm not sure. We're rubber mounted on the engine. But basically what we have to find out is if we can take them pieces off the fan, if we can get them off, I'm sure we'll be able to do something. Well, it turns with them on. Hard to get off, I suppose. Especially when you've taped them on there, hey baby? Huh? Jeez. Alrighty. Chetty did a good job putting them on, didn't he? Basically, I just want to see if I, we can get it to get them off without. I suppose I shouldn't be tamming that fan that easy anyway, should I? Turn them out. Man, that's some close. And we can still adjust it.
it's not hitting. I love that chrome though. We got room in there. It's turning hard because I got the fan belt on, eh? You know what I mean? It's still the belt still on. That's why it's because it's trying to turn the engine over. But what I honestly can say, we'll take and do a little test here in a minute. And what we'll do is the test is We've got adjustment still because we, we're bolted up. That means we have adjustment. And if we don't have adjustment either way, one way or the other, then that means that we have to oblong the holes or we have to adjust it up and down. So up and down, or we have, we wouldn't have much down, but it's not hitting when they're coming down. There's a nice gap going on there where it's down. So the only way it would be hitting up this top and not hitting the top. Well, it's quite impressive. Impressive. Now, let's do this. Well, looks like we might want to come up a little bit. We might want to come up a little bit. It's not hitting that way at all. That's good that way. Perfect that way. Perfect that way. Perfect that way. So we have a little issue at the top and uh, we have adjustment to be able to, we have what we'll do is we'll put a washer on the bottom of it. <clears throat> we can washer the bottom of it and just bring it up that little bit so it doesn't hit. Also, we'll have to start the engine up and see where it goes. There might be a little trimming. There might be a little this, might be a little that. But from side to side, this, this is awesome. Side to side, it's awesome. And that's too thick. Not just one, there's two there, too thick. And that's good that way. It's good that way. Just a little bit at the top. That means a little bit at the bottom. All kinds at the bottom. So we just pick them up a little tiny bit. I like where the fan's in the middle. It's not really even hitting. And it's close. <laughs> it's close. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this. I'm going to keep welding this up down here. This looks all right in the front to me. That looks all right to me. We'll just keep welding that up here, welding that there, welding that down that side. You'd have to, you'd have to rip that off all the way down. That's a long old piece of weld for that to rip off either way. I don't think I'd have to gusset it, I don't think. Um, if I do, I might just go maybe a crisscross with some small, small round rod just so it can't go nowhere. So we'll just crisscross it maybe, put a little strength in it so it can't go this way. But it has that, it'd have to rip all that weld going down either side of that bracket. Um, it's sitting on two bolts with a piece of angle arm, so we'll finish welding that all up in there nice. That went well. That went really well. So basically, <laughs> the grill's sitting on there. We have a, a fan shroud. I'm happy with what the, everything's going on. I can, I can take it back. I'm going to take it back off. I'm going to have to take it back off and do a little bit of what? Um, I can do a little bit of taking a little more off the fan, just a little tiny bit if I have to. Not much. I don't want to take any off if I don't have to, but really, in all honesty, I'm quite happy the way that went on there. I thought that was going to be quite something else I did. I want to get the grill and stick it on if I can. Hello, Fina. You're such a good dog. And I don't know, you know, how we'd ever put that on or what we would do, but I'm going to hang it on just like that for now. Go back and take a look at it if you want, sweetheart. I want to back and take a look at it too. And we're not getting really getting the full effect because the acid is still up in the air. Uh, we're building a. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We'll have to um, we'll have to get more done on the radiator. Do a little more welding on that. Uh, get get that tightened in then we'll see what happens with the grill we'll see it out stores and see if you know if we like it or if we don't like it uh, i did want to get a whole bunch of metal going in here and it's not it didn't go too bad actually it went quite nice um, with the way it's going that's not bad at all that's a small red sport that was not doesn't weigh much at all um, fan shroud i think is going to work 
Like we could even have the fan shroud itself adjustable. We can move this up and down if we have to. This piece right here, the rag could stay exactly where we want to. We could all blong on these ho holes out and move it back and forth a little bit. We can do that too to make it, to get it, to get it right, that's what we can do. But the, the red support needed something to hold it there. And that's pretty basic what I got going on. And that's going to do it. That's in place. I'm thinking that the, the fan is in the right place. I think, I'm thinking the fan is in the right place. And if it is not, it'll let us know. <laughs> I want it, baby. It'll let us know. It'll rattle and go on, bang, whatever. But I'm thinking that's where it's going to be. It's going to be nice to get the red, got to get the red hoses ran. Um, yeah, cruising on we are. Everything's going good. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that together, weld that up. Next time you come back, um, you never know what's going to happen. But we do need a gas tank still. Uh, the we, st we need a gas pedal. There's so many things when you build a car. Every time you build a car, you need everything that a car has. You need a gas pedal. You need a brake pedal. You need a shifter. You, you, you need it all, eh? Um, you need it all. And there's no difference when you're building something like this. Unless you're, you know, we skip the, the rear suspension, but when you're building something like this, you still need a key or a turn on switch. You still need a battery. You still need everything. But anyways, I'm happy with that. That went very quickly and I'm going to sign off because I'm going to start welding it up and I don't think you need to watch that. Thanks for coming. Hope you come back again. That was good.